uncovering the identity of the man in the sex tape with Moye Lawal. Nigerians dug out the pictures and found out that he's a married man and he has his own kids and all that. Then we are getting more information. According to some sources now, this man has spoken about Moyo Lawal sex tape and said that he was actually paid for the sex tape. Contrary to the actress uh, claim that uh, the man was her ex-boyfriend and then ex fiance the man is actually a gigolo, according to the sources, and that he was paid for that sex tape. And apart from Moyo Lawal sex tape, there are other two sex tapes which involve Nollywood actresses. And this one is going to rock the whole of Nigerian movie industry. Both AGN and Tampan. The names of the actresses involved in this sex tape saga is really going to shock Nigerians. So the name of the man, allegedly, is Mr. Said Ola Sukomi. The one that was having the intimate relation with Muyela Wow. Just some days ago, that Uche Madogo uh, urged the Actors Guild of Nigeria to suspend Moyo due to the release of her sex tape. Uche questioned the moral message the actress was conveying to her young fans. And he described the video as embarrassing and called for the agent to suspend her until the Nigerian police investigates the matter. It's what we're there, Moyo. I beg, what moral lesson is this video teaching our Pekins? Need to be alone. To say this is embarrassing, now understatement. Within now, one finally turned this Nollywood industry. I urge AG and Actors Guild of Nigeria to immediately not allow Moyo to enter any movie set until the Nigerian police look into who shared that video on the internet. I could not even watch the video because it made me vomit. So uninteresting and repulsive. How did he get here in Nollywood? And in another post, he wrote, You know, go fix me, but yeah, for Nigeria, with all those your video on the internet. Which Nigerian man will still follow you go village for bread price after seeing the way everyone they enjoy your video like Telemundo on the internet. For the fact that it's taking you this long to humble yourself to apologize for the unacceptable videos out there shows you need church prayers. So everyone for your village has finally succeeded in seeing waiting only your husband for a so supposed see the battle. However, after this, Moyo came out with an official statement stating that uh, she did not release the video and she revealed that that video was made long time ago by the man who was dating her and was meant to be married to her however that video had been released without her consent online and she intends to pursue that with a legal action she also mentioned that she does not intend to allow the incident to break her spirit and extended appreciation to those who have shown her support and understanding to her in this difficult time of hers uh, part of the statement she released read, A private video of mine from a while ago has been inappropriately shared without my consent, violating my privacy and trust. I want to emphasize that this video was done with my ex. I was to marry as at that time was never intended for public consumption. And its unauthorized distribution is a breach of my personal boundaries. However, this criminal breach of privacy will definitely be treated with legal action. It really hits me funny because I have always maintained a strict approach to my sexuality. Even going as far as being celibate for a few years, refusing to date often and choosing to be alone most times. However, I am determined to not let this unfortunate incident break my spirit. I appreciate the support and understanding of those who have reached out to me during this challenging time. Please know that your kindness and goodwill means the world to me. And now, there are other sources claiming otherwise, saying that the man was not even dating her at all not to talk of being ex fiance according to them meanwhile the notable filmmaker mary njoko lamented the blame on the famous actress while she faced moyo as the victim in the situation and encouraged the need to give victims a britain space other than name callings and insinuations of making themselves a target of harassment she cited different scenarios in an instagram post alongside excuses made up for the victim on how they could have avoided the situation and our words were why do you always blame the victims rape waiting they find for a room car theft mumu why pack for the car pack cheating how bad why wouldn't he cheat see as you fat ordinary three children where you born domestic violence you provoked him Come, you know sharp now only mumu person then they scam by gammy why are you exposing your home a good wife should cover her husband's shame leak sex tape why would you trust your fiancé and goof around with someone you love if you have never been a victim before, pray it never happens to you in Nigeria. Because you are doomed. Little one that the corporates get away with it 90% of the time, and we continue to victimize victims. Ego taught everybody last class. Shame on us. Me, Remy Joku's reaction came after Nigerians were 
sharing their opinion on social media platforms and they were obviously divided some people were saying that they feel celebrities are doing those things so that they can trend and others were of the opinion that maybe she was just a victim of porn revenge meanwhile an actress content creator and video vixen shelly covey also expressed support for the embattled actress and then she stated that she had done her own investigation and found out that Moyo did not release the video, contrary to a wave of opinions that it was scripted as a publicity stunt by the actress herself. This was shared on her Instagram page. And her words were, I will stand by her, I've done my own findings, and I found out she didn't release the sex tape, rather the man did. You know what, Moyo? I will love you forever. I know you shouldn't have consented to making that video, but you never posted it. As for that man, Kama will catch up with him. I will stand with you and love you forever. Because of thing, whatever pain you're feeling right now. The first top celebrity Moyo that followed me before I followed her back. Most of you don't know her, but she's very humble and minds her business. So men should stop video shaming women with sex porn revenge. All who are laughing, show me who have not seen or done worse because you haven't been exposed. May God continue protecting you, Queen. Meanwhile, as Ellie mentioned, several opinions were communicated on the matter with men people claiming that Moyo herself was behind the leak and some basically sent out words of encouragement and other people rated Moya's um, bedroom poems, scoring a loop. Some people may ask who is Moya Lawa? Well, Moya is not a newbie in the entertainment industry. Her television debut was in the series called Shallow Waters. In that series, she played a role of trauma and that role became a trampoline to uh, the successful career that she has now as she started becoming noticeable for other famous movie producers. And over the years, she has featured a, a lot of uh, breakthrough movies and over the years she has featured in a lot of hit movies including big girls on campus cloud of pain be stresses never love a prince thanks for coming judas game and many other prominent ones one of the other significant works that uh, she featured in was teen Soul, the soap opera where she played the role of chini apart from that she appeared in the comedy series jennifer's diary and uh, Moyo over the years has been entertaining us for over two decades. And we have come to the end of this episode where uh, there are some other sources claiming that two big actresses, which is going to shock the whole of Tampan and Adrian, are involved in other sex tapes, which might be leaked very soon. The name of the man is Mr. Saeed Ola Sukomi, and the name of the journalist is Kemi Olulon Yowiz, revealing all this to the uh, entire public. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.